So this program is unique because, first of all, we're offering the students laptops and everyone has access to computer technology at all times. On these laptops, we also have specialized software that students can work with and they can get some of the top-notch uh, programs that we have. We have also machines in the undergraduate lab, lab from Alienware where they can work with some of the cutting-edge hardware that's out there in game development. And finally, we put students in front of problems that they have to solve themselves from the ground up instead of just training them on the job or training them just to work with one program and just figuring out that one program. Instead of that, we talk to them about how do you solve a design problem and how do you solve a programming problem and we teach them all those skills necessary to understand what is good game design and what is good game programming and then they develop the games from the ground up and turn it into something wonderful at the end of the term. of things actually. Um, one, first off, we're in the faculty of business and IT, so we have a core business component to our, our gaming program. It's not just computer science, we do have computer science core uh, in our program, but we do teach people how to start their own businesses, all the, all the intricacies about how to actually run a business, and more importantly, how to find funding for, you know, how to approach publishers, how to find funding, etc., to start their, uh, their startup game companies. So in game development, we are very fortunate to have a couple of laboratories where we can work hands-on with students. One of the laboratories is only for undergraduate students, and we can do all sorts of cool teaching and innovation stuff in there because we have a motion capturing system and we have Alienware computers and lots of top-notch technology in that undergraduate laboratory. In the summer it's even used uh, for some of the hands-on student projects that some of our undergraduates are working on. Um, the other interesting thing is from a learning perspective where we integrate industrial relevance into um, the learning process from day one essentially. So every year starting from uh, first year uh, students are basically form groups and teams and uh, are required to build, uh, build a video game uh, essentially over the eight month period. At UIT we have a very friendly and a very social environment. Oftentimes there are very flat hierarchies and we're really hands on with students directly there for them. So it really increases their motivation and interest and, uh, and skill sets. I definitely have a passion for game development. Um, it actually started in high school, really late into it. Uh, for most of high school, actually, I was convinced I was going to do something in biology. When I was 15, 16 years old, I was learning to be a film director. I knew I wanted to do some art, but I didn't want to do just art. I also wanted to do some programming. And I liked playing games, so I thought I'd like making games. We did this uh, this quiz that kind of shows us which career would be perfect at, and almost every single time game development showed up. Well, UIT was the only university that had a really specific game development course. And with the development of 3D technologies, I noticed that games can be just as beautiful as films. I found game dev at UIT. It's really hands-on for a university course, and it really like, teaches you what you need to know for the game industry. So I looked into it, uh, applied to the university, and had not looked back. In the future, my, I hope my games can bring a cinematic experience to the players and UIT taught me all the skills to achieve that. The technology that UIT provides us is actually really awesome and it's specialized for their program. So mine is, has all the software that I'm going to ever need for video game development. Everything is standardized so that you know, everybody can actually open or use whatever files that uh, they share amongst each other in the groups. It lets us do so much. The software that it provides, we can do just about anything in game development. We can create just about anything. You can use it on your own free time, so you can be creative. The resources they, they provide us as well, the, the, game, the gaming lab, which includes there's a sound booth, there's you know, 20 plus desktops, you know, really high-end new stuff. They also come with software that you need, like Visual Studio and Maya and Woodbox. Those help you uh, create art assets and code for your game. 
with the school giving the software to you, it pretty much helps you out and uh, gets you uh, to finish whatever you need to do within whatever skill set that you're actually focusing on. The teamwork component in, in our program is really nice because, you know, if you're not good at everything, say, you know, you're a strong programmer, not a good writer, you, you're put on teams of people who are so diverse that they can kind of pick up that weight and you kind of learn and work off each other. You get a chance to work in a group and make a game every semester. The entire program is really team-based and uh, it's kind of difficult to get used to because in high school it was very um, solo. But uh, once you're used to it, it's great because you get to play to your strengths. During the term, we also are very interactive with our students. Usually in class, activity involves you getting, getting physically active instead of just sitting at your desk. We really promote uh, a lot of different types of social activities with students. Um, in particular, we have a, a student-run uh, game development club uh, and an art club. We want students to be hands-on, we want them to engage in discussions, we want them to toss ideas off of each other, and oftentimes that involves paper prototyping, scribbling all over tables, and talking to each other in a very creative and mind-storming kind of way. From a faculty perspective, we do try and encourage a lot of different types of uh, interaction socially and professionally. So we have a lot of these opportunities at UIT, and I think that's what makes us unique. We're an open, young place, vibrant and exciting for young people. With different courses that you're taking in uh, the game dev program, you pretty much get a taste of everything. We're taught the bare bones in this program. You know, we don't come in with existing engines and just kind of create these really simple games as fast as possible. They start us off right from scratch. So we build the engines ourselves. We start off with text-based games. We go to 2D, 2.5, 3D. From programming, art, modeling, animation, sound and audio. I find the environment very competitive in the program. Um, in class, you're taught the basics, but then you're encouraged to take it one step further and do your own research and learn how to do amazing things. And if you manage to pull off something astounding in your game, you'll be rewarded. So. Game development isn't just about the actual coding and the art and the music. There's actually huge focus on entrepreneurship as well. And the entrepreneurship side teaches us how to not just manage our own company, you know, it's it's everything business-wise. How to start it up, how to manage it, how to not run it into the ground, I guess. So a lot of us, you, we're, I guess we're being primed to be indie developers. We can take what we're learning here, graduate, and go out and actually create our own company. All of these skills are important for any game developer in the industry. So, you know, they start us off as complete novices and we work our ways up to experts. So while studying at UIT, I got the privilege of being hired by my professor. So over the summer I got to do a lot of programming, which is my personal focus. You can get hired by one of your profs to do work that's relevant to what you're learning in school. We have capstone projects in fourth year that students must do, uh, which is a team-based project where they work on an industrial project. A local industry partner will talk to us and say, here's a project that I'd really like a solution for, and it has to do with games, and we really have to make it interactive and engaging. Which uh, looks really great on a resume or in your portfolio once you're finally looking for a job because you have experience in your area of expertise. Uh, other possible opportunities is that we, we have an internship program and that internship program is basically your students get to work for four to eight months uh, at a company and get credit for it and there's a small academic portion that they have to uh, do presentations and stuff uh, afterwards uh, to say what they learned and, and how it was relevant to their, to their coursework. Sometimes we also send students overseas and we collaborate with bigger companies. Recently we've participated in the Ubisoft Academia competition and actually won best marketing strategy with one of our teams. This uh, job experience has been very valuable to me and it also looked really good when I go and try to look for a job after I'm finished. It's a very exciting time to be at UIT if you actually want to work together with industry.